Hey everybody, I hope you are doing all right. So, some interesting things happened uh, yesterday evening, and then some some more interesting things have been said. Um, not much has really happened. I woke up in a great mood, um, but not much has happened today thus far. But yesterday, <clears throat> two things have happened that, um, hold on a second, those might be two first, to be honest. Uh, I think to my recollection, they are the first two times that I've had, um, this is just what happened, um, that I had two females ask for my number on the same time and within like an hour or two of each other. One of them was right here at the library, um, this, uh, you know, attractive chick named, uh, Kara, um, and she was, uh, right there outside the bathroom, I needed to go to the bathroom, so I walked past her, and, um, you know, she, she said hi, she said what's up, she kind of smiled a little bit, but I just kept it moving, and then, like, as I was in the bathroom, like, with the door open, like, she said something else, but I didn't quite hear her, and so then I was like, did you say something, and she was like, she was asking me, she said the word date and I was like date like what are you, what are you talking about and she's like well, do you know what the date is <laughs> and I told her um it's the third of the 20th you know because <laughs> sometimes I fucking um sometimes I have a little bit of dyslexia and I mix things up and then I was like no that's not right it's fucking it's the third month and the 20th day and um you know, from there, she was like, oh, okay, all right, all right, and then, um, you know, I could tell that she, uh, you know, she was, um, she came off like she was a little bit desperate, but not desperate for cock or anything like that, just like she was in kind of, like, a hard situation, she had a few bags with her, and, um, I think the next thing was she asked me if I had any cigarettes, and, uh, she was, like, trying to be, like, quiet about it, too, we were in the library, so, um, you know, it's respectful of her, and I didn't have any cigarettes at the time, but I had two Swisher Sweets, so, um, I gave her one of my Swishers, and, um, you know, she was very appreciative of it, and she gave me some food, and she, she even offered me some cookies and shit, and I was like, no, I'm good on the cookies, and, um, you know, then I went to the bathroom, you know, after I said thank you, and she said thank you, and this and that, and I could just tell, like, you, I mean, you can fucking read energy, like, there was a little bit of a chemistry there, um, and this is like, you know, just after I had gotten done, you know, listening to some of Joy's streams and she's talking about fucking, like, what does the equation look like if me and her get together and this and that. And from my past experience, a lot of times um, when you're, I mean, it's been a long time for me. So again, I'm just, you know, I could be fucking off, but it's also how energy works. Like things are going to test you to make sure you really want to be with that person. So, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, this chick is, you know, she's right here, she's, you know, right here, and she's got, in, she's interested, and um, at least that's what I feel, and, um, you know, yet there's this other, you know, there's Joy, this other girl I've been doing whatever with online, that, uh, you know, um, there's still a lot of fucking, I'll be honest, there's still a lot of doubts that I have about things, um, which I'll talk about later, but, you know, I'm willing to give it a work. And the more I've kind of asked and thought about things, um, the more things are becoming clearer about the reason why I think um, this online, whatever you want to call it, has gone on as long as it has and the way that it's gone on, it's starting to become a little bit clearer to me. Um, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit later because she said some things in her stream she's doing right now earlier <clears throat> that... Um, very interesting so I want to address them but anyway so yeah I go into the bathroom I come out of the bathroom and she's still there and you know part of me was like when I was in the bathroom I kind of took extra time too because I was hoping she would leave because it's like I really wasn't I'm not trying to I don't like talking to multiple females at the same time that's just never felt right to me um, I've never really done it you know there might have been when I was a lot younger there's a time when I don't know I might have had kind of like two girls I was talking to but I don't like doing it, man. I just like one female um, is good for me. It's more than good for me. That's all I want. That's all I need. I don't need multiple pussies. You know, that's kind of selfish, too, to think that you can satisfy two hearts with just one. My opinion, 
Um, I know there's a lot of talk about how we used to be polygamous and all this and that, but it's like, look at our history, man. Like a lot of what's happened in the past is the reasons why we are here today. Like we have a huge issue with relationship problems. So perhaps being polygamous really isn't the most best way to go about being in relationships. Um, and again, I could go on reasons of that for a while if I really wanted to, but I don't want to. I'm just saying that for me, I just want one woman and, um, and I also don't like talking to multiple women at the same time. That's why every time like I would like kind of try to go, you know, talk to Casey Michelle, I would feel bad about it because in my heart I was still wasn't done. You know, I still don't feel like the feelings had felt had gotten resolved um, between me and Joy. This is just how I'm feeling. I'm not saying she feels any type of way. This is just what's going on inside me. So I'd always feel bad about it. <clears throat> And uh, so yeah, with this chick, the same thing was kind of happening with this chick, but she's being nice to me, she's being kind, she looks like she's of a similar age. I think she's homeless too, but she looked good. She looked like, you know, she had her shit together. She even had short hair too. Um, it, was, it was dyed blonde, but she looked good. Had a tattoo on her back also. Um, so anyway, I get out of the bathroom and she's, you know, um, she asked me another question. She's like, hey, you know, do you know how to get a free phone and shit? And, um, you know, I go into this because I, when I was in Jacksonville, fucking, we walked out of a Dollar Tree, me and this girl, Stacy, this old elderly girl, Stacy, she was just, she was like a friend. She was cool as fuck. Also a fellow dumpster diver. Um, and, um, they were trying to give us free phones. Like there is this thing where you can get like free phones and, um, Stacy couldn't get it because she didn't have a letter, I think from some type of, a, I don't know if it was her insurance or something like that. She needed a letter from somewhere. And that was the main reason why she couldn't get a free phone. So when this chick asked me about it, um, I went into all these details about, yeah, I think you need your birthday. You need to know your birthday. You need to know your social security number. You need to have insurance, I think. And then she was like, did you know what site to go to? And I was like, ah, no, I don't know that. And, um, you know, then I asked her, I was like, do you have a phone to look it up? You know, and then I was about to offer my phone. And before I could offer my phone, she said no. And then she asked for my number. I was like, oh, all right, fucking, you know, here's, here's my number. You know, we'd already exchanged names and shit, too. So, um, yeah, that happened, man. And, like, you know, honestly, I was doing all right with the smoothness. This is just my own judgment as I go back and reflect on how the, the whole situation went down. I was doing pretty good until the, uh, you know, what I should have done to really try to help her out, too, was to um, allow her to use my phone to look up how to get herself a phone. But again, like part of me didn't want to fucking engage too heavily into it because, you know, the things that I heard Joy talk about, you know, were in the direction of like perhaps trying to talk and communicate. Um, so I'm like, OK, well, she's saying things like that, that I'm not going to go and try to talk to another girl. You know, to me, that's just putting energy into multiple places, which takes away from the amount of energy you can put into one place. So, and it's also just not what I feel is, is a good thing to do in your heart. So, um, yeah, after I gave her my number and I said thanks and this and that and fucking told her have a good day, she said the same to me and I just kept it moving. And I went and charged my phone. This is about 4, this is probably about 4.30 in the p.m. And me and Joy are in the same time zone. So, I just heard her on her stream talk about um, from 4 p.m. on, essentially, she done thrown me into the trash. And um, the first I heard about this was today on her stream. And then I fucking tried to, you know, talk about it on her stream. Because, like I said, it's the first time I heard from this. And this is, okay, well, I have to finish the story and then it'll make more sense. So after I get, the, the girl asked for my number. I give her my number. Um, I charge my phone. I walk out the library. Um, I'm walking to go uh, to the store and I get a fucking Facebook message and guess who it is It's joy asking for my phone number. I'm not bullshit man. This, this shit fucking it's ridiculous how fucking honestly, I think she So I think we all have psychic abilities or supernatural abilities and one of hers in my opinion is the ability to see things and to go into other people and, and see from their perspective um, I'm not saying that's what she did. She could have just had a feeling and decided to fucking send that fucking message. At, like within the, it's literally within an hour of me giving my phone number to another female. She asked me for my phone number. Like it happens within a couple of hours of each other on the same fucking day. 
after seven months of all this craziness on the internet you know it's just strange how it happens on that day and nothing happens out of coincidence so there's a reason for everything um you know and then i actually waited you know i gave her my phone number like within five minutes of her messaging me and then i waited at a mcdonald's and charged my phone for like two hours um to see if she called me you know and she didn't call so i was like all right i'm a fucking and then she had a live stream scheduled which she didn't fucking do and i guess she was at the bar last night this is where it's going to get into the next video i'm going to make about it's going to be a little bit more of a deeper a different vibe video um, but she went to the bar and um she gave you know she's talking about doing rituals with people and giving names to people and talking about gator bait and throwing away the trash and how i'm the trash and to me it's starting to conjure up a scene um almost like a movie and so you know as i'm watching and listening to this and this is coming from the girl that just asked for my number yesterday and it's like i didn't make any movies that i didn't make any videos after that yesterday like nothing else has happened other than it's a new day and all of a sudden she wakes up with this fucking you know bitter and she even talked about how she was sick as fuck like in the video her live stream earlier she was like almost throwing up based on something that had happened recently um i have a feeling i know what's going on but again that's going to be for another video but i just want to share with you guys like just the synchronicities and you know yesterday when i was talking to her on the live stream you know she's fucking telling me all these what i perceive to be you know not the full truth or lies and i'm like i can go find another girl like you know y'all act like i'm some fucking creeper dude who fucking can't get females attention or anything like that and it's like that's not the case at all i've chosen to be fucking relatively committed to working on this to whatever it ends it gets to be and there continues to be little bits and pieces of fucking in my opinion hope that it could work out and then i just received a, a large degree of hope you know by her asking for my number you know and then this you know early day you know she's fucking on some other crazy shit so <clears throat> i don't know it is what it is man i'm really you know for me with females like i'm not that picky but there's a reason for joy and i'm gonna go into that in a, in a little bit here i'm gonna walk around and kind of clear my head uh the library opens up at 10 here so it's just a, it's opened up like 20 minutes ago i'm gonna charge my phone and fucking like i said maybe listen to a little bit of music walk around and then i'm gonna uh drop a video on it's really about spiritual warfare and what i think is really going on with joy and perhaps why me and her have been put into this fucking area online where we're to get where we interact with each other um that's the best way i think i can put it right now because that's all it is right now it's just an interaction so all right i love you guys hope you have a good day bye